Welcome back everyone. I hope you had a happy new year and today I want to talk about uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and I'm gonna do this in a new style so first let's talk about how big the map is gonna be. We know in GTA 5 and GTA 4 the map weren't well much bigger I would say plus you yeah, had countryside I think the city of San, well, of Los Santos is around the size of, uh, well, Liberty City, in a way. Anyway, it's around the same size. So I think, with a new modern day technology, they most probably be making this game on, they most probably will have uh, a much bigger map than GTA 5. Plus, most probably will move around slower, so it feels so much bigger. In a way, if you know what I mean, guys. So, yeah, that's number one. Number two, I want to talk about is maybe customization for weapons, clothing, and stuff. I've never played the video of Red Dead but I feel like there's a lot of ways they could put customization in. Comparing to GTA 5, they could do like five best outfits, they could do fan. And so that they can do a lot of like them type of outfits because they just fit into the game, if you know what I mean. There's also other stuff they could do, like uh, with weapons, like maybe. Uh, well, I don't think they had suppressors when the game is based in because I think the first suppressors were even like. W well, I know there weren't in any World War One, but I think it was around World War Two something was like the first real life suppressors. Well, not real life, I mean real. Well, there were weapons in World War 1 that had the suppressed, but they were already were attached. I think later on, you had ones where you could just attach to the weapon. So yeah, that would be a good feature also. Plus maybe like, the scope, like with evolving this game and you look through the scope, there's like, uh, just like, like kind of, a little bit of a goes up and then shoot that. Maybe you can change it so there's different patterns around it and stuff. Like maybe you can have a curved bit, or you can have a, like kind of blocked bit of stuff. And you can change all. Okay, number three. How would vehicles work in the game? By vehicles, I mean more horses, trains, stuff like that. One thing I just thought of could be cool is imagine you could buy your own train. Wouldn't that be cool, guys? But at the same time, I don't know how I'd work online because of uh, if you look on the like uh, teasers and stuff of the game, well, there's no trailer, but. The it, the art of the game, the train tracks look like they have one track, so you most probably wouldn't drive yourself because of uh, you would crash most probably into other trains like over time, because people would just be trying to get to it quick as they can. Another train on the track, boom, hit into each other, guys. So that's one other thing. I think they have to fix with like, the train features as well. If they did that, then you could buy own trains. Right, with our horses, I feel as a thing right now, they could do a lot of things for it. Like maybe there's one or two, maybe you can get different colour like for horses. And then buy like stuff like things for stuff to go over them as death human army guys. Maybe you can get like plus you can maybe get a different saddle, maybe you can get a green saddle, a red or a blue saddle. So they're just uh, like uh, brownish saddle maybe you can like customize uh the thing that goes on the snack or something what you use to like make it go quicker and stuff if you know what i mean guys you could make a lot of customization well there'll be a lot of little customization but when you think of it if you customized it up i think it could become really big guys and the fourth and final one i'm gonna talk about and that is single player and online for online i hope they do like gta 5 where you just buy properties um over either businesses and make money off that or buy properties so you can live in so you know where you're gonna spawn it would be a really good thing for them to add in the game plus with single player i just want to say is i hope they ha have done a really big storyline with a new modern technology instead, you know what I mean, guys? They can make a really big story mode. I've seen some games recently 
will have gone a big star mode and I hope GTA Rockstar do that same thing with this game. It's probably a big story in maybe do just like maybe you even characters because it gives you vi different worlds and plus if you just hate that one character who's the main protagonist in the game you always have different opportunities to be ever protagonists in the game and one thing we'll talk about online is the money system I think from the straight from the beginning the money system of the game will be bad because I feel like they know about GTA 5 feel like instantly they're gonna want to go straight into fighting kick try and get as much money as possible so we can fund DLCs plus with single player I also think that though you could add a lot more things like that train feature says you can buy a train if they did that most probably would only be for single player most probably but there's also a lot of things they could do plus they could maybe do a hundred player online mode like games you get now so yeah guys, I think that's the fourth and final one. So yeah guys. There you go guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, remember guys to comment if you want me to do more of this style of videos. And remember to like, subscribe and comment if you did enjoy the video also. So yeah guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye yours, peace yours, yay yours.